Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Truly Bedrock Season 4. Today we are finally going to get working on our ocean monument, turning it into a guardian farm that sends these horrible little pesky critters into the nether where I will be killing them with harming potions. Over the last couple of episodes, we've spent time gathering brown mushrooms, sugar, and spider eyes, and developing automatic brewing stations so that we can do all that. Now all we need to do is, well, turn this into an actual working farm. There is, however, one more ingredient to this farm that we're gonna need, and you might actually be able to see on the screen right now one of the things that we are going to need, and that is obsidian for portals. This is going to be a portal based farm. We're going to have 25 portals, which means we're going to need at least 250 pieces of obsidian, which is around about four stacks. And currently I got less than a stack. So, I mean, I could just come around trying to dig all of these things out from under the water, but this could take some time. I think, I think there's probably a quicker and easier way to do this. Ooh, don't mind if I do that. I'll have a clock. <laughs> Thanks for the clock, mate. I'll have the gold as well. Why not? Now there's a lot of places we could go to mine obsidian. We could go to the end and mine one of the end pillars. However, a good friend of mine, Mr. Beardstone, has been making life very easy for us. You see, as Mr. Beardstone has been expanding his landmass and carving out his base area, he has been making a lot of water from the ocean drip into the caves down below. And as we discovered a couple of episodes ago when we were looking for spider spawners, ah, there is a large area down here where there's a lot of lava legs and a lot of spillages from Mr. Beardstone, which just happens to have created lots and lots of obsidian. And I can see someone else has already had my idea of stealing this obsidian. I say stealing it, it's not really stealing it. It's, it's sort of kind of a bit below my base, near Liara's base, sort of near Loy's base and sort of near Mr. Beardstone. So I'm declaring this area is no man's land and I'm going to go and steal lots of obsidian. I mean, gather lots of obsidian without stealing it because it's not stealing. That's weird. That's really weird. Anyway, we're not here to look at weird things. We're here to gather many, many, many obsidians, so I better get digging. I thought I might have my haste power here from my beacon, which isn't too far away, but I guess not, so this could take a little while, but it's fine. Okay, I have mined three stacks. I am underwater, I'm wet, I'm bored, this is very slow, and I've got a better idea. I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner. While I ride home in my little minecart, why don't I tell you my epic plan? Clearly, the quickest, easiest, and most sensible way to get a lot of obsidian is with... Well, speaking of which, Mr. Pigglesworth has just logged in. Is that a clue? I think it might be. You're right, Piglin Bartering. Something I haven't done this season. This is slightly concerning. Hello? <laughs> Where did you just come from? All, all four of those... Just, what? What? <laughs> Mysterious cleric villager, where have you just come from? Huh? And you're a master, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got this. I've never been so surprised in Minecraft in all my time. Oh my goodness, quit getting about. You're probably somebody's. Um. <laughs> I don't know what... <laughs> I genuinely don't know what to say. Right, I'm going to have to take a, a screenshot of this villager and post it to the TB peeps and, uh, and find out whose it is. Oh, jeez. Hello. The, okay, the Truly Bedrock members have been alerted to this lost village. I can't believe that's so weird. It just walked down from me. I mean, could it have walked out of the nether portal? If so, how did it get to the nether portal? I had so many questions and I have literally none of the answers. Anyway, Cleric Villager, I'm also using the brewing stand because I'm trying to make fire resistance potions, which, you know, ironically, I could get from piglins if I had one. Before I leave this idiot in this boat for collection, I just want to make sure it's not currently on a chunk border. It is, look, if I unloaded that, it would disappear and then the boat would be empty when someone came to collect it. I'm just going to move you slightly... Just slightly, Mr. Villager, or Mrs. Villager, I don't know, whoever you are, just so that you're safe and away from chunk borders. Jeez. 
We're going to have to take a slight detour from getting the piglin because I have heard news of this village's owner. And I'm afraid, sir, I'm oh, sorry, I thought you were a ma'am, uh, that you belong to Mr. Sloy XP, and according to him, you are a disposable villager that is no longer required. So I can either offer you a nice home or throw you down the well. I think nice home. Nice home sounds good to me. Come, follow me, little villagery person. You're going to go in a little box next to my other villagers. To your left, you will see a gaggle of other villagers, which are completely free range, have total, you know, they can go wherever they want. They choose, though, to stand in these little boxes, as you are about to choose to do the same thing, madam. I mean, sir. There you go. Right. I'll, wait, oh, my goodness. Boats. Jeez. You're supposed to be over here with me. What's the point of me rowing you all the way over there if you're just going to ping back here? And your boat's not even here, is it? I just need to relog now. And no doubt you'll disappear. No doubt you're on a chunk border now. Jeez. Okay, yes, villager has vanished after relogging. This villager where I left them. They are. Ah, this is good news. Excellent. Please don't do that again. As much as your magic tricks are quite fascinating and impressive, uh, they're no longer required. Right. I need wood. Thought you were making a guardian farm today? So did I. But no, I'm babysitting Zloy's villagers. Speaking of chunk borders, whew, you are living on the edge, my friend. You are living on the edge, and I like you because you do unbreaking and impaling five. Not that I really want impaling five, but yeah, you're still living on the edge, my friend. And there we go. Villager number five, four, I can't count, is trapped. And now I get really, really good discounts on total rubbish. Okay, so with all of that villager palaver out of the way, we can finally get back to our task at hand, and that's focusing on capturing a piglin so that we can get obsidian so that we can build our guardian farm. Aha, many piglins. Hello, my pigliny friends. Please feel free to come and get in a boat. Come on, that's it. Nearly. You nearly got in a boat there. One of the, There we go. One of them's in a boat. And you accidentally shot your friend, you absolute moron. Good. I have myself a pigliny friend. No, I don't believe, because it's got a crossbow, it can actually shoot me while I'm in the boat because I'm too close range for it. So this is handy. I can drive it all the way home without any problems. This isn't taking long at all. It's quite a nice, peaceful trip through the nether with a crossbow aimed at the back of my head in the world's slowest boat going down the world's longest corridor. He's suddenly got very excitable. I'm not quite sure why, but he's having a very good time. It's probably the soul lanterns. Do they? They don't like things like that, do they? It's like torture for him going down this avenue of soul lanterns. It's just despairing. Help! Help! Get me out of this boat! Now this is the tricky bit. I have to get this piglin across a one wide bridge in the open nether and up a block at the other end without getting shot by ghasts or other things, and I've now just got out of the boat. This could be quite tricky, particularly as I'm not wearing any armor. I do have fire resistance. What could go wrong? Plus, bruh, no ghasts, plus. Easy does it, easy does it. Now, will this boat go upstairs? I know the answer is no, but you know, we can always try. All right, Mr. Piglin, I'm going to need some blocks. Ow, please don't shoot me. I'm in the middle of trying to rescue you. Kidnap me! No, not kidnap, I'm rescuing you. You kidnap I was a, I was perfectly fine being a wild and free pig man and you've you've No, 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 I'm rescuing you. Uh, rescue, mate, rescue. Not stealing or borrowing, I'm rescuing you. Just like I rescued that villager villager earlier. <gasps> no! I went about ten blocks away! No! Oh for goodness sake oh, this game! Fear not, my friends. I have plan B. Plan B is obviously quite clearly wrangle another pigman. Ideally, not quite as far away. I have found piglin fellows that are closer. However, these all, oh no, not all of them. I thought they all had swords, but they don't. So what we need to do is go and take care of the ones that have got swords. Well, look after them. Yeah, look after them. Look at me looking after them. And go and grab the one that's got a bow. You, my friend, death from above. You, ah, with all of your armor. Come get in this boat before you die, because I've got foot. <laughs> really, game? Really? Now there's a ghast. I'm hiding for your sake, pigman. I don't want you to die because of thorns damage. Aha! I got him in the boat. This is good news. No, ah, no. But now there's a ghast. 
<laughs> Great. There's always something else to deal with, isn't there? There's always something else to deal with. Right, let's go and deal with the ghast. That's it, ghast. Me and you are going to have words. Right, ghast is dead. And yet again, but Piglin despawned from there? Ha! Maybe it died. Maybe it died. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> And there we go. We now have a stack of obsidian. Another stack, should I say. So now that we've finally got every single material that we need, we can start actually building this guardian farm. Although there are a couple of little things that we need to figure out first. And before we do that, I just want to ask, have you considered joining my Discord if you're not already? Discord, if you don't know, is an amazing place where we all get together and we can chat and talk about things. You get announcement for what's coming up on my channel, personal live streams, add-ons and all that sort of stuff. And it's just a good place to hang out and speak to like-minded individuals that all share a common interest. Anyway, yes, figuring things out. So what exactly do we need to figure out? Well, as you can see, I'm here on a creative copy of Truly Bedrock. I am over at the Mo Ocean Monument. And if you didn't know, on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, Guardians do not just spawn anywhere on the Ocean Monument. There are actually 25 very specific spaces that they will spawn. As I fly around the area, you will see that there's a group there, there's a group there, there's a group at the top, and you'll see as they spawn, they spawn in very, very specific places. And we need to figure out exactly what those spaces are in order to build our farm around them. And the easiest way to do that is with commands. So above our guardian farm, I've made a little glass platform, and on that I have a bunch of command blocks. This one here is very simple. It will kill anything that's not a guardian or the player if I happen to go into survival mode. And that just makes sure that this area is nice and clean from items. It's not going to have any squid and things flying around, which is going to get in our way. It's just a nice, clear, open world. There are four more here, which all link together. We've got a repeating command block, which will turn guardians into concrete blocks. Basically, if a guardian spawns, it's going to get turned into a concrete concrete block and then it's going to instantly be killed so this one sets a block where the guardian is and then this one is a chain command block that requires an, the other one to have achieved its goal which is why it's conditional and this one kills the guardian so as soon as a guardian spawns it gets turned into a concrete block and then killed the other two command blocks we have will be activated when we activate this one this one will turn the difficulty to hard which means guardians can actually spawn and when we turn it back off again to stop the system it will turn the difficulty to peaceful, killing all existing guardians if there are any, and stopping any more from spawning. So, all I need to do now is flick this lever, fly up a little bit, press F1 to get all that nonsense off my screen, and we should start seeing concrete blocks appearing under the water. So it appears our guardian farm has got one thing less than normal, which is really, really bizarre. What's also really weird is that these columns normally fill themselves all the way down to the bottom within seconds, but they're not actually filling themselves in at all. So they've either changed how structures work, or I'm having some major mob spawning issues on this test world, which isn't impossible. Okay, things have changed on Bedrock Edition since I last made my Guardian farm. I just deleted this pillar here. Normally... When this system works, the Guardians will start trying to spawn from the top and they will make their way down to the bottom. However, I just watched this in action and I watched it build the tower from the bottom. So let's speed that up again and see if we can see that in action. There you go, the Guardians are spawning and the tower is building up from the bottom. That might be the reason why we're not getting things, you know, spawning how they should. If we bring this line of Prismarine across here to meet with that one, perhaps now we will actually get guardians spawning where they should be on that location. And there we go. Yep, <laughs> the guardians are now spawning on that one as well. Okay, right. Well, regardless of whether the guardians will start spawning from the top or the bottom, it doesn't actually matter for us. All that matters is we know exactly where these spawning spots are and we can replicate these positions on our actual Truly Bedrock server. So back on the Truly Bedrock server, all I need to do now is make pillars wherever those blocks are. However, in order to do that, it would be really helpful if I could put in a conduit. Now you can see I've got a heart of the sea, which is absolutely fantastic, but I don't have any nautilus shells so i need to go and beat some drowns up oh geez i just need eight drowns that's all i need just eight. Oh, oh he's got one you've got one yeah well, there we go one a trident we got <laughs> rotten fresh a trident and a nautilus shell from that guy 
I'll take it all. While I'm beating up guardians, there's another interesting thing to note with this farm, and that is, can you see how many guardians there are? We used to be limited to eight guardians because even if you put a roof over this thing, there was a density camp of eight that could possibly spawn at once. However, you can see we do have a roof over a small part of this because of my mob farm above and the density cap for cave spawns is now 16 mobs. So there is a chance to get, I guess, 16 cave guardians and potentially another eight surface guardians with this farm, I think. Possibly. You know, I'd probably be better off with looting three, wouldn't I? That would make a lot of sense. Let me go get my sword. Slight problem. I am down to one heart. I was down to one heart. I may have got slightly carried away there killing drowns and wasn't really paying attention to my health. And there's a baby drown trying to chase me. Go away. Shoo. Thank you. I spy with my little eye something beginning with geode. Wow, okay, I found my first geode and it's not far away from this guardian farm. That's really handy to know. I shall be mining that out very soon. I just need one more Nautilus shell. That's all I need. The guardians are ganging up on me. I'm so close. Oh, jeez, half a heart. <laughs> Run away. <laughs> Give me your Nautilus shell, sir. There we go. We've got eight. Amazing. Now we can create a conduit. That's out. Ah, oh, no. I was going to say that's fantastic. We need to find a way back over there without getting got by those guys. Hmm. One conduit, please. Thank you very much. Oh, look at all of the tridents I got from that. Jeez. There we go. The conduit is on full power. You can tell that because you get the little orange line down the front of it, which means we have underwater breathing and a decent amount of, well, sort of damage protection a bit around the area and we can also mine stuff really fast which is handy because we are going to have to destroy a reasonable amount of this area in order to put our columns in now i'm not going to tear away the whole ocean monument i have done that plenty of times in the past but there really isn't much need for this farm in fact there isn't any need and here we go the very last pillar is going in which should mean no more guardians can spawn however i haven't gone underneath this thing it's not impossible we might get some spawning underneath. There's only one way to find out. Let's go fly away and come back again and see if the area is clear. And while we're flying away, we might as well take an opportunity to go and see if we've got lots and lots of iron in our iron farm. We do. We've got a whole bunch of iron. This is good news. Right, let's go see if any guardians come back. Oh, there we go. We've got a guardian down here somehow. Where did you come from? Is something in the wrong place? Have you come from inside? Did you pop out of that little hole there? Is that what's happening here? Oh yes. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. I need to. I need to put pillars all the way down. And there we go. That is the last pillar, all dug down all the way to the ground underneath the monument. Now there may well be caves underneath this thing, like I said before. In which case we might get guardians spawning a little bit lower down. But hopefully we won't. Flying away to make them despawn and coming back. Will we get any guardians kicking about this time? Hopefully not. Have a look inside, have a quick mooch around. Any guardians in here? I heard a guardian. Literally just heard one. There, There's one. Where did you come from? <laughs> Where did you come from? I heard another one. There's one up here. Where did you come from? Oh my goodness, how are they still spawning? Have I missed something? Am I really gonna have to tear the monument down? I think I'm gonna have to tear the monument down, aren't I? Oh, I hate tearing the monument down. It's such a pain. Rocks are meant to be picked up and thrown. New ideas can be pleasantly overgrown. But you know where to go if you follow that heart. Step at the time.
And there we go, the monument is all gone, just like that. And now that it's gone, I have some good news and I have some bad news. The good news is that I now have a ridiculous amount of prismarine blocks in order to start decorating things with prismarine, which is nice. The other good news is I've also discovered that there is some underwater cave network system which we need to explore to make sure that there's no more guardian, you know, potential spawning places under there. The bad news, <laughs> the bad news is that doing this was a complete and utter waste of time. And the reason for that is there were no more guardians spawning. The whole time I did that, not one more guardian spawned, which can only mean that the guardians I found after I put the pillars in must have been persistent for some reason. Maybe I'd hit them before. Maybe something had happened with their code and that made them persistent. Either way, there's no guardian spawning, which means our pillars are working, which means our farm is ready to start putting the portals in. Jeez. Well, hmm, sort of. Okay, so the next thing to do is to figure out where our AFK platform's going to be, and that's because, well, you know, I could start putting in the portals, but the first one I want to put in is here, and all my stuff's here. So if we build a platform up there, then I don't have to worry about that, which means I need my markers pack, and I'm going to do this in reverse this time, which might sound a bit weird, but if we break a hole in here, we'll see that this is where our central guardian is going to spawn. But it can't spawn at this level because it's too high up. It's probably going to end up spawning down here at Y60. So I'm going to put my armor stand there and I'm going to put the spawn spheres on. And that means that I need to make my AFK spot just outside of this green sphere. So if we have our AFK point here directly above the armor stand that's down there, our central spawning spot just outside of this green sphere, then that should be the perfect place, well, for our AFK spot, because that's going to give us the maximum number of these that can be activated. So now what I need to do is grab my armor stand. And don't forget, you can download this resource pack from foxynotel.com and it's free and it's a resource pack, not an add-on. So you don't need to put it on your world. You can just put it on your global resources and use it on any world. Jeez, it's amazing. For free. For free, mate, because I'm very generous. So now if I come up to the AFK spot and pop the armor stand on there, let's just give it a bit of light so it's not too dark and put the spawn spheres on here. Now, everything outside of the green sphere, but within the red sphere, is going to be able to be loaded. And you can see that includes even the very corner ones just. So we can actually load all 25 spawning spots from there just if we're very, very lucky. And now we have the AFK spot up there with all of the chests and things, and we have an empty spot here with a spot where guardians will hopefully spawn. So what I'm gonna do is gonna replace this top bit of glass here with a piece of prismarine. And now what we need to discover is which corner the guardian spawns on. It will spawn on the northwest corner, which could be this one here, in which case we need to put our secondary block here and the portal there. If it's this corner, we need to put our secondary block there in the portal there and vice versa. So we need to discover that by basically just looking as closely as possible at it when guardians spawn or, well, we could always just use coordinates. But I like seeing things visually because things do change as we've already discovered today. And it's always a good idea to just make sure you're 100% right before you make any decisions. Now, in order to help me with this, I'm going to use an app called the FOV Changer, which is available on Windows 10. It's made by Xerox HD, and it's very useful. It means I can zoom in without... Oh, my goodness, we've got loads of Guardians already. Without needing a telescope, because I don't like the telescopes. It looks to me like it's that corner. You can see it's that back corner there. That was very, very clear that they are spawning on that back corner. And my goodness me, we get, I don't think we're going to need to use 25 spawning spaces. And these little po spawning pods are really easy to build. We have two spawnable blocks next to each other. In front of that, we create a nether portal. And it's just your normal standard size nether portal, which will be impossible to light at the minute because it's full of water. So then grab yourself some glass. Fill up glass on one side. I like to use glass because it allows you to actually see inside and see what's happening and bring that glass around the outsides as well in order to create a full pod. I'm gonna fill that with temporary blocks to get rid of the water, or I could use a sponge if I had one. And then before you light the nether portal, what you need to do is stick a dispenser in this. Put your dispenser there next to the spawnable block, grab yourselves a bucket, ideally with water in it, 
and put the bucket in there because we're going to use this with redstone in order to be able to turn, make this on and offable. Another thing you might want to do here is make this nice and light so that you don't get zombies and things spawning on top of it or maybe even just cover it in slab and that is now 100% almost complete. I need to light the nether portal but before I light the nether portal I need to use my markers pack one more time. Okay so the reason we need to use the markers pack this time is we need to get the coordinates of this portal in the nether because the linking of these portals is going to be very very important particularly the white level because we want all 25 portals to link to one portal in the nether and if your nether's like the one on truly bedrock and there's lots of players and there's loads of portals around you don't want to be linking to the wrong one so you need to make this as exact as possible so <laughs> let's put this on nether coordinates which is probably going to take up the entire box it is i can't i can't see that it's too big mate why don't you make the pack do it smaller well i want to see it from far away and the coordinates we need to put this in the nether are minus 103 by 60 by minus 101 okay it's here on the Z. we need to go up a few blocks and then that way. Oh, hello, gas. <laughs> right outside my new tunnel. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? And here we go. This is where we're going to have our other portal. This is where it's going to come out. That was nice and easy to find. It's right near our tunnel, which means it's going to be very easy to get to our nether side of our guardian farm. Let's just hope the other portals don't link up with things that are too close. I have no idea who else has got portals near here. So now that I got that, I'm not going to like that yet. Jeez. Going to go back in my tunnel, hop back over to the Guardian farm, grab my armor stand so it doesn't disappear, light that one, go back to the nether, light this one, and hopefully when I go through this one, I'm going to appear in my little spawning pod. And there we go. I am inside the spawning pod. Nothing can spawn in there because there's no water yet, so I don't have to worry about guardians going through. Let's just go back again and make sure relinking both ways works. And it totally does. That's amazing. Fantastic. Now, the next thing I do before I do anything else at all with this farm is to grab a little bit of lava, hop back up to our new portal. And what we're going to do here is have an emergency killing system just in case. Ah! Oh! Ah, that's oh that was bad oh i don't have fire resistance on me ah uh, that's glass that's not a hole ow ow can i not be on fire now thank you create an emergency killing system in case any guardians do end up coming through at any point they'll go in the lava there and they'll die which will mean that we well basically i won't be killing the world fingers crossed Okay, the very last thing to do before I put in all of the other 24 portals is to test that the Guardians will actually go through it. So I've got myself a lever, popped it on the back of that dispenser there. I'm going to flick that down to put water in there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Nether and I'm going to get my AFK account to go AFK up there. Oh, and great, I've appeared in the wrong one. My portal is now linked to this impossible portal. Oh, goody. I nearly walked straight forward into that lava then. I'm glad I didn't. I can't see a thing because of the wibbly wobbliness. But how was my other portal was linked perfectly? How is it linked to the... Oh, my goodness me. That is so annoying. Oh, jeez. I didn't bring any blocks with me. My goodness me. Everything's so annoying. You're so annoying. I know, but so is everything else. Okay, I have myself set up. Now all I need to do is get my AFK account over to the Guardian farm. The AFK account is in the AFK spot. And concerningly, we're not getting any Guardians at all. Oh, there we go. There we go. Just took a second. Wow. And that's a lot of Guardians coming through, considering we've only got one portal working. But there you go. The system is working, which is absolutely fantastic. It's an expert level 99 design, if I don't mind saying so myself. And speaking of expert level 99, did you know you can be expert level 99 too by buying my merch? You can get it from the links in the description below. Oh, geez, this is amazing. I'm so happy. Slightly less happy about the fact that this tunnel no longer links up. I'm going to assume it's a Y level thing. We're at Y44 here, whereas here we're at Y70. So that's 30 blocks away that it's got to find on the on the Y axis before it gets there. Whereas, I mean, I don't think that's 30 blocks. So that's got to be more than 30 blocks in that direction. Oh, geez. <laughs> We'll fix that later. So there we go. We've now got the workings of a guardian farm. All I've got to do now is add in the 24 pods, put a redstone system in to turn this off and on again, add a nether system, add a storage system, add a kidding system, build a potion brew. I've hardly anything to do. 
Sadly, though, all of that's going to have to wait for the next video. So, yeah, I'll see you all later. Goodbye.